G'day YouTube. Alex here. I'm just relaxing. Uh, I've been playing on YouTube. Um, had a bit of a, a bit of a chat with um, Evening Pipe and into his gore, and he mentioned that he he knows the team Collingwood, which surprised me. I don't think American folks are into uh, Aussie rules football. Um, I don't follow too much nowadays, believe it or not. Um, I used to. What happened is many years ago, um, Collingwood, I grew up in Collingwood, and uh, Co Collingwood used to have their home ground in Collingwood called Victoria Park, and used to hold a lot of games there, you know, the home ground, and it was fabulous, you know, I used to go, go to a lot of the home games when I was younger, and after, you know, commercialization, I don't know what you call it, corpor corporates getting involved, um, they don't play in the home ground anymore. They don't, you know, so... Um, I lost a lot of interest in footy. You know, they took away the that home feeling, the spirit of every team, you know, that plays in the AFL, Australian Football League. Um, you know, they've got their roots and their heritage, and they've taken that away. You know, like, um, a lot of the teams don't have their home grounds anymore, North Melbourne, etc. which they... Anyway, so I, I got a little bit disheartened by it all, and... Generally, don't follow football too much nowadays. I still pay attention, but I don't. I don't go to games. So anyway, this is my Collingwood hat, my Collingwood scarf, Magpies, you know, the black and whites. It's actually funny now because I don't know if you guys have been watching my videos, but I actually work in the recycling industry, and uh, sometimes the stuff I find is amazing. You know, there's a lot of shit, of course, but there is some good stuff sometimes. And I found something extremely rare. And I'm very grateful for being a, a Collingwood supporter. Is I found a Collingwood Football Club um, diary, the players' directory. Now this is not this is not what you can buy. You can't buy this. This is what they give out to the players. I'm not going to go showing the inside of it. I'm just, like I said, I'm a collector. So, well, collector, a fan. So there's all um, information in here about the team, the sponsors, the team selection procedure. Contacts, which I won't show. The fixture. But this is back from 2003. <laughs> um, and all, all the rest of it's empty. You know, there's, they haven't filled in the details in that regards. This actually belonged to... Um, he th must have thrown it out. It was Alan Didak. Uh, his name's on here. So I'm very grateful for that he threw it out. And I found it. Um, just being, a, you know, a Collingwood fan, I thought this was this was a lovely, lovely thing to have. I just appreciate it for what it is. So, um, there. Yeah. See, this is what the the club gives to the players, not for the public. Um, there's nothing in here, no sensitive information or anything like that, but. Just some phone numbers and stuff, which I won't show on YouTube or show anyone. Um, you might get some some peanut try to contact these people, which I don't recommend and I wouldn't do. Sorry, I'm having trouble closing it. Um, so yeah, I was going to make this later on, but I got excited when um, Evening Pipe mentioned mentioned Collingwood. <laughs> yeah, that was my old stomping grounds. Um, I grew up in the, in Collingwood in the. Uh, in the late 70s, um, I lived there, I think it was 77, 78, 79, I think 1980, it's when we shifted to Brunswick. The school I went to was called Victoria Park Primary School, and um, across the road from the school was Collingwood Football Ground, and... Um, I used to go in the in the footy ground with with my brother, who's two years older than me, and we used to see the football players training. Um, back then, the coach was Tom Hafey, and and uh, yeah, so we used to go in there watch them play and I uh, sorry practice, and they used to give us support and they'd throw us uh, a Sharon football, a practice football, and so here you go, boys, take it home and keep it, you know, kick around the street, whatever, you know, have fun, and that was you know that's the good old days and when. The sports people appreciated the fans and and were good to the kids, I guess, you know. Um, so anyway, um, I regret this part. <laughs> I 
I was in I was in the ground with my brother and Peter Moore, uh, one of the old many years ago Collingwood football player. He uh, came up to me, gave me a football, and he said, "Hold, hold it, wait, give me it back." So I, I handed it back to him. He grabbed the football, went back down the change rooms, and he got it signed by every Collingwood football player. Now I think this was 1979. Of course, being young and stupid, being a kid, of course. So I grabbed this beautiful football with Sharon, kicked around the street and destroyed it. So I don't have that anymore. And I regret that, you know. Hindsight's a lovely thing. So I wish I'd kept that football with all the autographs on there. It would have been good. But um, you know, I had good memories. Um, Tom Hafey was nice to us. Um, Peter, uh, actually Peter Moore, uh, Rene Kink, another Collingwood football player. We used to call him the Hulk. And there were, the other two, the other three, sorry, guys that stood out the most because they always came up and talked to us and gave us footballs to kick around and play with, and they always gave encouraging words and support. Because back in them days, Collingwood was a um, a, work, a really working class suburb. You know, it was like, well, you come from Collingwood. Either. They always thought of you as a, a toothless supporter on the dole. On the dole is uh, what do you Americans have? Um, welfare. Well, my, my old man worked, you know, it wasn't on welfare, and I'm a Collingwood supporter. And I have my teeth. So, and my one eye Collingwood supporter? Yeah, abs absolutely. Um, excuse me, it's a bit cold here today. Um, so, I I'm quite proud of being a Collingwood supporter, I guess. Um, it was good times growing up in Collingwood, you know, it was normal people, working class people, people just trying to make their way in life. So that's me hat, that's an old one. Um, yeah, this was actually a 2005 hat. Now, the reason I kept this one particularly was, shit, I can't remember who it was, I got it signed by someone. Uh, I think it's Chris Tarrant. I can't remember, I can't read it. A good mate of mine attended a, um, a function for the Collingwood Football Club and he met a lot of the players. This is how things have changed, right? Anyway, he went up to a couple of players and asked for autographs on his Guernsey, you know, on his Collingwood jumper, and they told him no. They don't sign things. And um, I actually found that quite sad, that players don't sign people's tops and whatnot, you know, the supporters, the, the ones who make the game. I mean, the game is the game, it exists, but without the supporters, there's no club, you know, no members, no people attending the sport, people buying the paraphernalia, you know. So it's apparently that happens a lot nowadays where the players don't sign autographs. Now, if you're talking about signing a blank check, I understand that, you know, that, that goes without saying, but signing someone's jumper or well i got the cap signed it's years ago um yeah now times have changed so evening pipe uh thank you for responding to my uh vr to your <laughs> for doing uh thank you for responding to my vr i really appreciate that um as you know i'm new to the pipe pipe youtube pipe community i'm still learning got some other Collingwood stuff somewhere, you just don't know where. I've got, got a lot of crap in the house. Um, uh, don't ask where. I know I've got some Collingwood stamps, uh, collector stamps somewhere, and I don't know what. All sorts of crap. All right, well, there you go. You can see I'm a Collingwood supporter, as I said. So uh, thanks, thanks for the uh, response and the commenting on Collingwood, because I actually found that quite quite good I really enjoyed that and uh, I thought I'll put this up for you straight away once I can upload it and you can have a look see ya